Hey, I'm Shy Fox, and today we will be drawing tutorial. I'm going to take you through this drawing tutorial step by step so that you can follow along and draw this too. Tutorial's shape is pretty well a big oval. So we're going to let our first oval shape that we draw take up a fair bit of space on our paper. So pretty well centered. We are going to draw a nice big oval. And lightly go around a few times as it's much easier to just lightly find an oval shape that way. All right. And we are going to draw another oval inside our oval. Just kind of at the top, top third or so of our drawing. We're going to split that oval into a horizontal curved axis. So just curve it just up lightly like that. And then we're going to do a vertical axis through the whole thing. Just give us some guidelines to begin with. Okay, let's draw in the top of Totoro's head. Just like that. We can even add in his ears. Now his ears are pretty long. Roughly, you can think of the length of them as from here to here. Top of your circle, well I guess small oval, <laughs> to the middle axis of your small oval. So roughly that long, maybe even a bit longer. And they go pretty well straight up, curve, get widest here, and get narrow towards the base. And they have these fuzzy lines like that, so I'm just gonna put those in, just at the base of the ears. So we want to symmetrically do the other one, slightly angling out, gets wide, then narrows in. And if you do what I just did, where you're kind of like redrawing, so you don't get it right the first time, just kind of keep drawing. Sometimes it's good to just keep drawing over where you are over and over until you kind of find the shape and then go back and erase. If that makes any sense. Hopefully that does. That's what I do. I just kind of keep drawing over and over and then there's a bunch of sketchy lines and then I just erase the ones that I don't want. Okay, so we have his ears. The side of the head's going to follow that oval quite wide. He's got a really wide head. I almost don't feel like this side is wide enough. So I'm going to make it wider. It's pretty well following the shape of our big oval. And we are going to draw sort of the bottom or side of his body here, but we're only going to do about that much. Now to prevent our tutorial from being too thin, I'm going to have you erase if you drew that already. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna go wider. We're gonna deviate from our oval. Make it go wide. So we almost have this square, rounded square shape happening. But we still want his body to feel round, so make sure that's still kind of round. It's okay if you're going wider than your initial oval guideline, that's fine. I'm just gonna have this curve up a little little curve up right there. Awesome. Let's draw the belly. It's gonna go up almost as high as that initial, or I guess the small oval inside. Use that as a guideline and we can make it fuzzy. This tutorial is kind of fluffy. Give it some fluff. Maybe go in and erase the sketched curve and leave the fuzz line. Okay, let's 
let's give Totoro some eyes. Now Totoro's eyes are very far apart and they're small. It's kind of his look. So to add those in directly beneath the ear, we're going to add an eye. And that is also in line with our axis that we put in there. So big circle, honestly small circle, but the bigger outline and then the small one inside. And we're going to do a little highlight inside. So you can color in the pupil, leave a dot as a highlight. So same position, come down, add your eyeball. Try and make it the same size as the other. So before you commit to that being there and drawing the pupil, does it look like it's the same size? Sure, sure it does. And do the other pupil and highlight. Awesome. We're gonna do a line on the bridge of the nose. It's like a little fuzzy line and this is centered to the eyes. So pretty well on that axis, little fuzzy kind of curved line like that and the nose is going to go just below it and Totoro has like a really wide nose so a really wide triangle like that and then the mouth position is a little funny before we put the mouth in though let's erase our guidelines we don't need them anymore just gonna fix where I'm accidentally erasing because of my eraser. The nose then is gonna go, sorry, not the nose, the mouth then goes pretty low. And it's just a little shape like that. I don't know if you can see it, small, just a little slant of a mouth. <laughs> Totoro has these big whiskers as well. So in line with the pretty well the bottom of the eye, we can do the first one, short, just these little spikes, so attach them inside the head. Next one, directly horizontally out pretty well, a little longer than the last one, and then the third one, same idea, just angles down, the middle one being the longest. Okay, now the trick, trying to do it symmetrically on the other side. Good luck to us, we can do it. Draw lightly first if you're not sure. In fact, draw lightly first all the time if you can help it. Hmm, did I do it right? I'm gonna be particular. We'll fix it. Slightly higher. Alright, did you get those in? Let's do. the arms. So starting approximately where you left off here, where the whiskers are. And if you're overlapping with your whiskers a bit, that's okay. We're gonna go out from the body. Not too far. I was going too far there. Whoops. Too far. Just slightly. And around. And you can connect down here. going to fix that because I don't want it to seem like he has like these big shoulders. <laughs> he feels like he's like shrugging his shoulders. You probably did what I just did and you drew the arms initially too high and far out so you can erase and come back in. I just got to fix this whisker there. And symmetrically on the other side, same idea. And check that they're sort of ending at the same height. You can use your pencil to kind of align, see if, like a ruler, see if they are aligned symmetrically. And add in his little claws. He's got three, one, two, three. They kind of curve. One, two, three. Jeez, Totoro's kind of scary. Is he not kind of scary? A little bit. In an adorable way, right? Okay. Let's add the detailing of his, I guess, tummy. He's got these, hmm, how would you describe that? It's a triangle boomerang. It's like a boomerang. 
I was thinking, what's the word? Anyone here from Australia? <laughs> okay. One, two, three across the top, and then there's another layer of, layer of them. They're kind of slightly smaller. Another layer. Of, there's another layer of them, slightly smaller. And there's four. So they go in between the ones above. Great. We're getting uh, closer to done. We got a few more things to do. We need an oval right about here. And symmetrically on the other side. Now these ovals are angled this way and this way. Long side, this way and this way. Make them about the same size. I'm attempting to do that myself. <laughs> Erase the inside of the circle. Oval, my mistake. <laughs> Mistakes are okay. All right. There. Success. And we're gonna do a little foot. So these are like his, I guess they're like his legs, those two. And then these are his feet. So that lower half do a rounded shape there and even a little pad of the foot, elongated oval shape on the lower half of your circle shapes in there. And then long scary claws once again, Totoro. Why, why don't you cut your nails? Just wondering. They're a little scary. Although some people for fashion purposes have quite long nails. Guess it depends on if that's your thing. All right. We're gonna have Totoro sitting on a stick, I guess, a log, I suppose. So coming out this way, and that way, and we're gonna just kind of have it curve. We're gonna, we're not gonna detail that much. We're gonna leave that. And we're gonna add a little tail. Now I don't know if you kind of caught what I did. You can kind of round it in first, and then it has this kind of wavy feel to it just slightly. Okay, I'm gonna clean up any final guideline lines that I didn't already remove. Go ahead and do that as well. And fix any lines that need fixing at this point. This is the stage at which we look at it as a whole and we say, does anything look awkward? It can take some time to figure out what looks awkward. You know, developing your sense of art sight essentially to catch those mistakes that comes with experience now we're going to draw a border around Toro so I'm going to start here a nice thick border all on the outside of him I draw it rather dark and thick to make him bold and stand out if you're going to color this in with with any sort of coloring materials you may want to outline it with a felt pen first of course all your you know options at this point it's up to you what do you want to do if you want to do a felt pen then you may want to skip this step and then you know line it with the felt pen go back and erase the markings underneath once you get that felt pen felt pen in and dried I am going around the whiskers as well. It's kind of a like an effect you would get if you were thinking of like a sticker. Stickers have like outlines, usually. <laughs> Even if it's just the white part of a sticker. And I am gonna go over the stick area, log, whatever <laughs> that is. <laughs> And it can be useful to bold some of the inside lines. Not as bold as the outside, but just kind of firm up that those lines are there. Aw, Totoro, you're cute. You're scary, but you're cute. Some people are like that. Do the 
tail. Awesome. All right. We are finished our tutorial. Good job, you guys. Awesome work. You can use hashtag draw with shy fox. That's two X's on Instagram. If you want to share your art with me in the community and you can also tag me on there, comment and let me know what other characters you'd like to see me do in future art tutorials. I do a draw along video every single day. I'm doing a challenge, a draw along video every day for 365 days. And this should be day six. In the spirit of helping on my channel, subscribes and likes are amazingly helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Have a really awesome day.